Welcome to the 2022 Studebaker event in Custer, South Dakota. Glad to have you along with us for this wonderful, glorious day with all these wonderful Studebaker cars. Uh, we're downtown Custer and uh, enjoy the video. My name is Sterling Horn. I am from Regina, Saskatchewan. That's approximately 500 miles north of Custer here. And uh, I've been coming down to these shows for since 89, off and on. Probably missed uh, six, seven, eight years of the past years. This car used to belong to my uncle. He used to sell cars. This was his demo car. And in 1950, he sold it to my grandfather. My grandfather bought it in 50 and drove it till about 73. It's a 1950 Champion Studebaker, bullet nose car, they called him. He drove it to 73 and he quit and he gave it to me to look after. And that's what I've been doing. I've been to different shows throughout the countryside. I've traveled quite a few different states. But uh, this is a favorite spot to come down to Custer. It's a good show down here and uh, the people I've met over the years, it's great. We're Rob and Janet Young from Rapid City, and we have this four-wheel drive Trans Star 1958. And then 58 Studebaker made 54 four-wheel drive, so it's one of 54 Studebaker four-wheel drives. And this truck had belonged to a rancher who had sheep, and the coyotes kept getting the sheep, so he bought the truck to get at the coyotes. The only problem was he didn't shoot them, he ran them down. So the truck had everything, everything welded to the frame welded. that could be leaf springs and everything. So Rob has built it from the bottom up. He took it apart, then had to buy another truck to figure out how to put it back together again. The only original parts is the engine, the transfer case, and the vehicle identification number. Yeah. Everything else was changed. It took him a long time to to get it put together and he and a friend worked on it for almost a solid year every night and then every day through the summer and got it down to the metal and primed and mm -hmm. finished up and pounded out and didn't use any machinery pounded out the dents mm -hmm. and did it all by hand we took it to the international studebaker meet in south bend indiana and it got 394 points out of 400. So we ended up with the first place and he's been fixing what they found wrong. Mm -hmm. 1937 uh, Studebaker President uh, chassis and it's got a custom uh, sedan delivery body on it. It's called a humpback because it's got the two level roof. Um, the factory did not sell this car but they did sell uh, a total of 400 cab and chassis on the automobile chassis as opposed to truck chassis and they um, uh, would sell them to a client. The client would uh, have it shipped to a custom body maker where they would put mostly uh, funeral uh, bodies on them, 
or stretch the chassis and make a limousine out of them. This one happens to be a sedan delivery. Um, it's highly modified, uh, all under the skin where you can't see it, but uh, uh, all the sheet metal and the external appearance is authentic. Hi, my name's Rex Rash. I'm from uh, Waukee, Iowa, just outside of Des Moines. I'm uh, the owner of the 54 Studebaker Commander Coupe that uh, has been highly modified, as you can tell. It's got a uh, LS2 uh, engine, so it's a six liter GM engine. It's got a six speed manual transmission. It's got a, a Ford a nine inch rear end in it. Uh, the interior is out of an Acura Integra, so it has been highly customized, as you can see the car doesn't have any door handles or anything on the outside it's all been shaved and all the chrome has been taken off it's been plain so it's a very highly modified 54 Studebaker Commander uh, it's a lot of fun to drive uh, we drove it all the way out here from uh, Des Moines and uh, got along great with it and I would expect to be able to do the same going back I am Mary Miller from Gary Nebraska I brought down a 1960 Lark convertible. We purchased this car in 1988 from Frederick, Colorado, and um, I enjoy driving it. Um, we have done the regular maintenance, but not a major uh, restoration on this car. And I do have a couple of other Studebakers. Um, that um, are at home. I have a 58 Packard Hawk, which is one of 588 that were made. And then I have a Packard limousine. So that's, that's my cars. My name is Roger Zayner. I'm from uh, Westminster, Colorado. And the little Studebaker Junior goat wagon um, actually acquired it off of um, Facebook Market page of all places. A person had it there in Denver for sale and brokered a deal with it. And these were originally produced from like 1902 up through late 30s, early 40s. Initially advertised for the junior series wagons for more aimed for kids and families like that. Um, you could have all, the option of having the, this type handle or... Um, the harness to have the actual for, for goats or there was also another attachment you could have uh, skis sl like sleds rails on it to go through the snow over the years they've been purposed for all kinds of activities for kids they made these by the thousands um, initially you could also order these through the uh, Sears and Roebuck catalog of all places so Definitely nice to have um, fun activities to, with a little bit different. I'm Lyndon Welly from Fort Morgan, Colorado. This is one of several of the Studebakers that we've had over the years. It's one of our favorite. We've been driving this one around for, I'd say probably 40 years since we restored it. It's been a very faithful little car. It's the first year for the uh, Studebaker convertible, Lark convertible, because the Larks started in 1959 and were real big hopes for the Studebaker Packard Corporation because they were in dire need of some kind of a miracle at this point in time. And so in 59, they came out with the Larks, and this, like I say, was the first year for the convertible, and they sold tons of them. They were sold for commercial cars and all sorts of things. So it put some money into the coffers for the Packard Studebaker Corporation. It's back to original conditions, original color and everything, interior back original, running gear, it's all stock. It goes right down the road, no problems. What we're looking at here is a 55 Studebaker President Speedster. Uh, it was a one-year model car. The colors on this car are very close to original. It was made to attract attention for Studebaker because sales had been lagging even though they had brought this really amazing body style out in uh, 53. And so they put about every option you could on a car because they wanted to compete against the, the Thunderbirds and the Corvettes that were becoming popular. And so that's what you ended up with. Uh, beautiful car, leather interior, uh, high performance uh, V8 in it, and uh, just a good car to look at.
Uh, my name's Dave Hammerquist. I'm from Rapid City. Uh, the car is a 1940 Studebaker Commander. It was built by Jim Newsel about 20 years ago, 22 years ago. He passed away a couple years ago and I was able to buy it just last year. So last year was the first year I was here for the Studebaker convention deal. But uh, it's been a good car. Just It needed a little work. I just got it running, in fact, yesterday about 3 o'clock. It had some electrical issues, but got those sorted out, so it's here today. So, But it's got a, a 1994 uh, 350 in it with an automatic transmission so it and it's a really nice road car just floats down the highway and stuff Jim Jim did a great job of building this thing up it's got actually got a Chrysler uh, Cordoba torsion bar front suspension on it so it rides real nice and it's a nice heavy car too so it makes it a good road car but um, it's just a nice little car to have for driving around hot rod events and Studebaker events like this things like that so it's been a it's been a good little car I am Larry Heredith from Norfolk, Nebraska. This is my 59 Hawk, Silver Hawk, and I restored it myself. I do all my own painting. I do the whole car. I also have a 57 Golden Hawk that I've restored myself. Uh, I'm 80 years old now, and I'm still building another Hawk. Yay.